All right, in typical JST fashion, we're gonna beat the softness out of us, bro. Yeah, fucking easy. What is up, YouTube? We are back with another day. We got Max up for lower body day today. We got some cleans from the same position that we had those snatches on Tuesday. Those have been feeling pretty good. We're about three sets deep into those. We got some jumps, we got some hurdle jumps, we got some broad jumps, lateral broad jump, lateral broad jump, double broad jump. Those will be fun. Haven't done those yet. Um, so ready to bring those out. Um, all these kids just left the field. It was a little chaotic in here, so I was trying to get some sets done while they were here and then record after. So now we're live. So catching a little bit later, not in the workout. We did all, just, just did all the warm ups before. And uh, now we're gonna get to the working sets right away into the working sets. So we'll go from there. Um, yesterday we had a BP session um, and I think I saw one strike out of like 200 pitches we saw. So today we're gonna make up for that and have a heavy BP session. Uh, so we got like three hours of BP today to hopefully see a strike and hit a ball. It was, it was, it was pretty egregious. Um, our defense coordinator, when we used to do something really bad, like really unathletic, he would, <laughs> he would just look at you and he would shake his head and he would just say, gross, gross. And that was the pitches yesterday. That's, that's what we were dealing with yesterday. Just gross, just lack of effort, he would say. Lack of effort, gross, gross, get off my field, gross, disgrace, disgrace. He just mumble those things, just tough, tough love. Um, but yeah, so we're going to make up for the, the BP session yesterday and we're gonna crush it today, get after it today, hit some news today and um, prepare for the tournament. I'm a dummy. I also messed up where the tournament was. It's in uh, Rosemount instead of, where was it? Where did I say it was? Rosemount instead of Rochester. I thought it was in Rochester, which was gonna be like a two hour drive. I was getting like uh, <laughs> my plans already for that and maybe getting a hotel and everything. It's in Rosemount, which is like 40 minutes away. So that was super nice. Save like an hour and 20 and save me from missing the tournament in general because I would show up and be at the wrong spot and then have to drive two hours back. So that was really nice that I found that out yesterday. That was about the only good thing that came out of BP. Um, but yeah, let's get after it. Let's hit some jumps. We'll hit some cleans. We'll go from here. Let's go. Let's got some hurdle hops here little varying heights, just trying to stay bouncy in between. Nothing too crazy here, just something I continually need to work on, that little elasticity part of this, if I want to get as bouncy as I want to get. Bouncy isn't really a goal for me right now. Um, just haven't had it in a bit. Jumping high is fun. Um, the softball's kind of go. When I was dunking a lot, this would have been way more important when I was doing it, but uh, right now, don't really have that goal, but still want to like keep those general qualities, you know, and just the, the poppiness and the, I, I think the speed aspect too is a big part of it, like being able to, to pop off the ground in softball, I guess, if you have speed, but uh, speed-wise, I'm actually pretty quick for the softball athletes I'm competing against. So continue to keep these qualities, continue to build them, and when we want to hit a 40-inch vert, we'll have a good base for that, right? So here we go. Ooh, with the hat, let's go. Another round. Oh, that wasn't, wasn't as pretty. One more round. I really need like a hat magnet for my big ass head with my hair. And my hat always flies off. Kind of drives me insane. But if I don't do a hat, then my little hair whiskers get in front of my eyes and that also drives me insane. I'm pretty peculiar, peculiar about these things, so. Gotta, gotta figure out a way around that. Maybe just have a smaller head. Here we go. Ooh, there we go, nice. Clean this one. All right, let's get the broad jumps. Then horizontal jump movement problem today. We're going lateral, lateral, forward, forward. Doing the laterals on the plates. Just give us some sort of marker there, something to jump off of there. And we're gonna turn it into a double broad jump here. So, let's hit it. Oh, there we go. Right, just a little mark there. Whew. That one actually felt pretty smooth. Face the other way, get after it. Oh, got bodied. Fuck. Ooh. Woo. All right, let's go clean. We got poles from the blocks here, same thing as Tuesday with those high snatch poles. I really like these getting underneath the bar. Um, I had Will Rattel on the podcast on our meet at a round table and we kind of talked about neck training. I posted one of his combine photos of Will. Uh, Will's combine photo, he literally has no neck. Or like 
it's all just trap, bro. He's like this big, he's fucking ginormous. Um, anyways, we were talking about Neuwil's neck program because of that. And one of the things he was talking about, and we've talked about it before on the YouTube, is Olympic lifts for neck development, right? It's a lot of pulling volume, a lot of heavy pulls, uh, deadlifts off the ground for neck development. Really is a moneymaker, man. Like, I, I didn't realize how much volume I was missing on my pulls when I cut out the Olympic lifts. And I usually don't personally deadlift a ton just because it, it kind of messes up my back a lot of times. Um, I'll, I'll still do it, but it's, uh, a lot of, it's not my favorite lift. I'd rather squat than deadlift. Um, my recovery from the deadlift just takes forever. Um, now I'm not that in deadlifts, so I'm not soft. But anyways, when I was taking out Olympic lifts and then I wasn't doing a ton of deadlifts, uh, my, the hypertrophy of my neck, my neck kind of went away, right? Started adding this stuff back in, traps start to blow up, neck feels way better. And for me specifically, it was super helpful for the whiplash I was dealing with in softball. I kind of messed up my neck last year when I was swinging a lot and kind of just twisting with that neck, had some issues in there. Started Olympic lifting, started adding in some heavy pulls, um, even heavy shrugs, and it really, really made a big difference. Traps came back, felt like I was staying on the ball better, felt like I had less of that whiplash type feeling. And um, super simple fix. So that, that was one of the reasons, one of the, honestly, one of the big reasons I started adding in. The Olympic lifts is just a funner variation for me to get in some of those pull, that pulling volume for that neck. It seems super specific and super silly, but it was one of the reasons I did it. So here we go, let's rip it. Gotta move this, otherwise it's gonna. Oh, come on. That was sloppy. Oof. One more. Oof. There we go. Set number two here. Let's rip. More light. We've, we've done a bunch of sets. Set number two is just kind of the second heavy set here. Let's rip it. God damn, that got heavy quick. Oh my God. This might be my last set. Holy shit, this thing is bodying me. Getting underneath that bar is fucking hard. Oh, there we go. Damn, dude. That shit got so heavy so quick. <sighs> Man, I think I'm gonna cut it there. That did not feel, did not feel super light at all. Did not feel super amazing. Let's go. All right, in typical JSD fashion, we're gonna beat the softness out of us, bro. Um, you're gonna really call that on that set, it was heavy. Yeah, no shit, bro. The weight gets heavy, man. That's what happens. So we're gonna slap a five on, and we're gonna bury ourselves until this bar doesn't come back up, all right? So let's go. Hit a drunk sig single, be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more mentally tough than that. Holy shit, come on. Yeah, fucking easy, you little bitch, come on. All right, that'll be it. We'll cut it there before I meathead myself into just murdering myself. Hit some zombie squats after it, go from there. I like this variation. I suck at it so horrendously. It drives me nuts. We will get better, let's go. So we just got a consult booked, which is good for business, bad for this video, because we are gonna have to leave after these front squats are done. We'll put all of our accessories on Friday um, that we missed. So we had some Nordics, we had some Cossacks, and we had some hip lifts. So just pretty basic stuff there. Um, but we're gonna rip these, go pretty heavy on these. We got zombie squats, so arms are straight out in front of us here. Um, why zombie squat versus front squat? Like, why don't you just put your arms here or here? Like it's more functional to like work on that mobility of that front rock position. Um, Jake was on the podcast yesterday with Will as well. And he said one of my favorite things is just like, cause I want to, like, cause I, I'm bored and I want to switch up the variation and it works for me switching up the variation, still getting a stimulus in and now I'm just more entertained with it because I don't want to do a front squat. I just want to do a zombie squat and try something new out, right? So. I think that's a big part of exercise selection and why you're doing things. It's like, there doesn't always have to be this massive scientific reason because most of the scientific reasons we have are just bullshit. It's like we're just finding studies that fit whatever we wanna have fit. I can find a study that's gonna tell me that zombie squats are better than front squats. I can find a study that's gonna tell me front squats are better than zombie squats. Uh, I can do the same thing with jumps. I can do the same thing with Olympic lifts versus not, right? So all this science-based stuff that we're talking about, we can all cherry pick what the best answer is for ourselves, what the best research is for ourselves. But 
at the end of the day, why we're doing it, right? We're doing it because we enjoy the movement, because it keeps it entertaining, it keeps it fun, um, and we're still getting a massive stimulus in. We're still squatting, right? That, that's the general principle. We're still moving and training and simulating the legs. That is our end goal. That is our whole goal, right? So we're going to do zombie squats today because I really want to do zombie squats, and I don't have an interest in doing front squats, and we had them programmed, right? When we had front squats programmed like two weeks ago, right? So. Um, I really like that answer and I really like that thought process. You don't need to have, as I'm explaining my reasoning, you don't need to have this scientific reasoning for everything. If you're getting results, right, you're getting results and it's entertaining and it's fun and it's enjoyable for you, just keep doing. And you, you, your, your science is your data points of I'm getting results, I'm getting stronger, and uh, just common sense too, which is just I'm going to squat some weight, right? So here we go. Four reps, continue to break these out. I haven't really done zombie squats in a long, long time, so it'll be interesting. Kind of tough. Stay up. It's a very upright squat, which is nice. I feel like it's more upright than my front squat because front squat I can keep it around a little bit to hold on to that bar. Here, you really got to stay there, otherwise that bar is going to dump. So keep ripping those. Let's go. Set number two. With these, we've been ripping some depth drops as well. So two, three, four, five. We have two more sets of depth drops there. Um, yeah. Other than that, we just keep ripping. Move this up just a little bit, and let's go. Those are kind of tough. Thing, that shit rolls forward. It's good though. It keeps you upright. You really want to work on an upright squat pattern. That is it. Much, much more upright than a front squat. You got the front rack mobility to stay totally upright. It's beautiful, but even then, as soon as it gets heavy and you can start dipping, you can really just kind of crank up to stay upright in there. That one, if it starts to roll, you're fucked, man. One more set there. Two more sets of depth drops, then we're out. We go last set here. Hit some depth drops, say goodbye. Go rip this consult, make some money, you know? Just make some money, let's go. Here we go. Come on. Ugh, come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. That's nice. Ooh. God dang it, dude. You want to build up some mass on those collarbones. That baby will do it. Woo! All right, here we go. Hit some depth traps. Then we outie. Last set of these here. Got five of them. I've actually been feeling pretty bouncy off of these today. Bouncy for, for JST anyways. We're coming up here. There's some bunnies here. Let's go. Punch that ground, get up. Oof. Ah, all right, last two. Let's add this red on. Bump it up just a little bit. Try not to die when this thing tips over. Ooh. All right, this is sketch. Do not try this at home, kids. I need a way better setup for this. I say that every week, but here we go. Ah, a little slow off the ground. I'm more scared of falling off this thing than anything. Last one here. Make it a good one. Ooh, boom. All right, let's have a little chat. Let's get out of here. Ooh, look at that transition. Boom. All right. That's a day, quick one, fun one, great one. Felt like, I uh, would wanna say great. I would give it a seven out of 10. Good little ripper. Uh, 
got after it on those cleans after sucking on those cleans, um, which felt good. Felt good to go back under that weight. Really suck at that high pole position. Um, it'll be interesting to see next week when we come out of it if it helped anything. Um, obviously, one week of doing them isn't going to fix anything that quickly. But maybe we feel a difference. Um, or maybe we were just a weak piece of shit this week. You never know. You know, Maybe that was just the problem. Maybe it wasn't the high pole. Maybe it was me. And uh, man, I've, heard, I've got that text too many times to, uh, to accept. So I'm going to blame it on the high poles, right? And it wasn't me. Um, but yeah, maybe it was that McDonald's shake this weekend. You never know. Could, could still be lingering. Um, honestly, I think the McDonald's shake would have fueled. Like, I added 10 pounds to everything. Like, there's, there's something in those shakes that is, uh, has to be illegal. But the zombie squats felt really good. I like those, especially if, um, if you're an athlete that needs to build up a little bit of collarbone ring and things like some QBs. You want to build up some thickness there. Damn, that exercise will do it, man. You put some stress on those. You'll, you'll build up some real muscle real quick, just like when you're putting the barbell on your back. If you, uh, if you have pain, when you're squatting barbell back, that's how I get to that question a lot with high school is why I have pain when I squat with the barbell on my back. It's like, well, you just kind of just have to squat more and you'll build up a little, uh, little pad there. Same with zerchers. Once, once you start zerchering enough, it uh, just starts feeling a little bit better. You build up a little bit of tolerance there. You build up a little bit of a uh, callus, I should say, mental and physical callus there that uh, allows you to uh, do more, right? So today we're going to go, it's 70 degrees outside, so I'm going to go eat some food after this, consult walk for like probably two hours. I'm probably going to hit a two hour walk today. That'd be a good one. And then BP and call it a day from there. Sauna. I got to embrace North later tonight. Going to rip that and um, be back tomorrow for an upper body day and uh, should be good. We got game day tomorrow. Excited for that with the guys and girls and um, should have a big group tomorrow. I'm pumped for that. Our, our groups, our morning groups, I've been really enjoying them. A lot of our, uh, we have five or six guys that have been kind of core staples of Yoakum Strength for the past three years that uh, will be graduating in May, so that'll be kind of sad. So we got kind of our last hurrah with them these last next two months before they all get their big boy jobs and we have a next wave of Yoakum Strength athletes. So you guys will be seeing those on the gram soon, the next wave of people. But uh, until we get to that point, we're going to enjoy it. Appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys supporting. Keep chopping wood.